bienvenue, welcome back everyone in this new video tutorial about auto battlers. In this video we're just going to fix some stuff uh, regarding um, drag and dropping. So I've noticed that if I drag, if I if I click a unit and drop it, oh, um, I'm not refocusing it instantly, but it's working there, strangely, strangely enough. At some place it's working, and at others it's not working. So I did not notice the fact that sometimes it, it was working. And I think we need to add a little logic that says uh, reselect it uh, when we drop it. And so, by I wanted to fix that that bug, and while doing so, I found something interesting. So, in the BP unit, if you say that the capsule is actually a pawn, and the skeletal mesh actually has no collision, you're going to to end up with a uh, weird behavior, which is kind of fun, and that's because we we keep on focusing it, focusing it, and it says, and the logic triggers fires all the time so we need to make sure that we're not triggering it as much so I'm not sure I'm not even sure I think that it comes from that so that's because we always fire that and it's kind of strange actually because our cursor location I think we're going to draw the cursor location just so we understand what's going on. So we're going to draw a debug point. I think the the point is going to go up as well, that's why we have that behavior. And the point color is going to be the same than the arrow. Like that. So we're going to word are we well yeah yeah like that so oh yeah maybe that's a bit too big and we're going to make it a little bit higher yeah it's still too big I think it's going to be kind of annoying yeah yeah so uh, we don't want that to be yeah that was silly to put it the same color I want to see if it goes up it seems to but I'm not sure why okay 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 it fires now it should be I don't know what fires actually I really don't know what fires okay so the set actor location logic does that and if we deactivate this okay so I guess that this is the problem because we're moving the units yeah, obviously we're moving the units We're going to get that position. We're going to break that. So this is also ugly. Same level of ugliness, but But it should work. Yeah, and now we are focusing the unit when we drop it. Because the problem was that the mesh had the collision and we made the mesh move up. Oh, interesting. We made the mesh move up, so we lost the collision with the mesh. 
and we, when we were dropping it um, the collision failed to refresh for some reason and now since the the capsule handles the collision the capsule stays down so when we drop the thing we are still interacting with the capsule and drag and drop is a, a bit less uh, pleasing to use but we have this problem of the of bump bumpiness and I'm a, I'm having a hard time understanding where it comes from where does it come from is our point moving as well Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's because our okay, okay. We need to make it so our cursor does not is not blocked by the skeletal match, uh, but it's it shouldn't be the case. It has no collision. It seems like something is interacting with our is making our cursor. go up go up when we go fast like that uh, we're going to remove the bloom from the past process just so we clear we clearly see what's going on bloom we want no bloom we want no motion blur at all And we're going to create another logic to modify the, uh, like we did for the, in our parent controller, we did P, we're going to make O, it's going to change the time dilatation. Like that. Mm, I'm, I don't quite remember the, 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 com the console command for Uh, what is the set global time dilatation? Ah, uh, that's simplest. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, okay. Not that one. Oh yeah, that one. So one and point three. So I slowed, I slowed the time using O, and you can clearly see the the unit goes bump, and I'm, and I'm not sure to understand why it's doing this. I think we just need to lurk the unit position from a place to another and it should be far better to to look at so update moved unit location where uh, can we lerp yeah we can lerp a vector can we ease a vector yeah we can uh, but I want I want something else can we interp uh, we cannot do many things oh yeah uh, exactly what I needed so get delta time get world delta seconds we want to interpret from the actor location to that place drag speed move speed like that we want that to be like 
100. Okay, we want that to be like 10. Okay. Okay, that's way better. And it removed the. Uh, Yeah, that created it created that that bug, which we're not going to fix. Oh yeah, maybe we, maybe we are. Uh, maybe we are not going to fix the bug that when we drop it, it, it falls not in the right place because uh, we still need to implement the the grid logic, and I think we're going to fix that bug when we implement we implement it. So we're just going to remove the draw. So we are drawing the, the arrow, but we're also drawing something else. A debug point, and we don't want that anymore. It's clearly going... Oh yeah, but the arrow... We want to... To draw the arrow in the same place the unit is moving, so it's going to be there and there. Oh, you can clearly see the the things the thing going up, and I'm not sure where it comes from. Uh, we'll see where it comes from. For now, we're going to increase the speed a bit, and we're going to we're going to call that done because it might be a bit boring and I don't know that the answer yet so I will have to look at I will have to look at it okay so let's call that video done I hope you like it and hope to see you in the next one bye bye